Boy, are you planning to travel to Brazil for your next holiday? Are you worried about all the travel requirements because COVID-19 has destroyed travel? Okay, that was a little bit dramatic because COVID-19 hasn't destroyed travel. That's why we're here. I'm Dama, your cool travel expert. And in this video, we'll talk about traveling to Brazil and how to get Brazil's Traveler's Health Declaration. With its unique cuisine, rich culture, and some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, amazing rainforests, vibrant metropolises, Brazil offers great travel adventures for travelers with budgets large and small. Horseback riding and wildlife watching in the Pantanal, spotting iconic species including toucans and pink dolphins, or just chilling with a caipirinha in hand. Where's mine? All you have to do is to choose the type of tourism that you want to do in Brazil and be amazed by its wonders. So long story short, if you're looking for a holiday to remember Brazil's the spot, here are Brazil's entry requirements. But before I tell you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and turn on your notifications so you're always up to date with all travel essentials. So because of the latest Omicron variant, Brazil is welcoming tourists except for those travelers who have been in South Africa, Eswatini, Lesotho, Namibia, Botswana, and Zimbabwe during the last 14 days. Brazilians and resident foreign nationals who have been in the above countries during the last 14 days are allowed to enter Brazil, but they need to comply with a 14-day quarantine. Now, everyone traveling to Brazil by air must present evidence of a negative PCR test for COVID-19 taken within 72 hours of boarding or a negative antigen test taken within 24 hours of boarding. This documentation needs to be in English, Spanish, or Portuguese, and it needs to be presented to the airline at check. From December 18th, 2021, anyone traveling to Brazil will also need to show proof of vaccination with any COVID-19 vaccine approved by the World Health Organization's emergency use listing. You can find the link with the list in the description below. But what happens if you haven't been vaccinated? Well, you will be able to enter the country, so yay, but you will need to quarantine for five days at the address that you previously registered in your traveler's health declaration. We'll get there in just a few moments. And once you're done with quarantine, you must take a PCR or antigen test and you cannot leave quarantine until you receive a negative result of either one. Now let's talk about the Brazil's Traveler's Health Declaration and how to get one. This document was designed to screen international arrivals in order to minimize the risks associated with COVID-19. So everybody that wishes to enter Brazil has to complete one. So yes, it is a mandatory document, but it does not replace a visa in any way. So if your country does require a visa to enter Brazil, the immigration officer will ask for a visa as well. There are two ways to get Brazil's Traveler's Health Declaration. One, you can visit this link, I'll leave it in the description below, and do it all by yourself. Or you can visit ivisa.com and let an expert do it for you. At ivisa.com, we have the expertise to make your application go faster, easier, and error-free. Simply go to ivisa.com and select your nationality and Brazil as your destination. Then click Get Started. Started. Fill in your data, finish your payment, and your health declaration will be processed for you. And then again, you choose to either do it by yourself or trusting ivisa.com. Decision is entirely yours. So why use ivisa.com to do something you could do on your own? Our mission at ivisa.com has always been saving you time and giving you peace of mind. We have the best team of experts to get any travel documentation you may need for your destination faster and easier than ever. Government's pages can be hard to navigate and you may lose some time and would have to apply over and over if something's wrong. So why not focus on what's actually important, which is of course, enjoying your trip. So once you submit your application with ivisa.com, we'll forward the Brazil's traveler's health declaration directly to your email. So you can show it to the immigration authorities once you arrive to the airport. Now you can apply with ivisa.com at any time, but remember that you can only process your application within three days prior to arrival. That's the period the Brazilian government is allowing for health declarations to be submitted. And that's about it. Hopefully this video made it easier for you to know all the travel requirements requirements to go to Brazil while COVID-19 still exists. I'm Dalma, your cool travel expert, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check our health declaration playlist because there's plenty of information about lots of destinations and about how to get those travel documents that you need. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you're always up to date with this crazy travel stuff. Jesus, when is this gonna end? I wish you safe travels. Mm -hmm.